Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today we're going to go over Prime Weld's Cut 60 Plasma Cutter. This is Prime Weld's Cut 60 Plasma Cutter. We'll go over the features real quick, and then we'll show you some test cuts. So first off, up here you have your air pressure gauge with adjustment right below it. Up here, your digital display is going to show you what your amperage is, and right below that is your adjustment for your amps. To the right of that, you, we have your post flow. Basically, that is just um, allowing air to continue through the gun after your cut to cool down uh, your gun and consumables prolongs the life of them. Uh, over here on the right, we have a three position switch. The top setting is to set your air pressure. The middle position is your 2T, that is running your gun in its standard configuration. You pull the trigger, you cut with it, when you release the gun stops um, and then you end your cut. If you have it in 4T configuration, when you pull that trigger in and release it, the gun continues to fire. And when you pull the trigger in and release it again, it'll then shut off the torch. This is really nice if you're doing extremely long runs with the plasma cutter. You don't have to sit there and hold the torch trigger in. Or if you're up in a really hard to reach location where you can't hold that trigger in, that's another great option for you as well. Up here, you have where you're going to attach your torch. And your torch is a Temco IPT60 torch. Um, this is actually made in Italy, so a good quality torch. And what's even better is the 20 foot lead that you get with this thing. No more are you going to have to cart this plasma cutter behind you. That lead is going to allow you to reach um, a whole bunch of areas um, without having to drag this thing behind you, especially if you're working on a vehicle, that's super handy to have. Over here on the right hand side is your grounding clamp. Your ground clamp that comes with this is actually really nice. It is a really firm uh, spring on here. It also has copper contacts on either side with a copper braided line linking them together, making this a really nice ground clamp. Um, moving to the back of the machine. In the back here we have our port for our air inlet from a compressor or a gas bottle, whichever you guys choose. And we have our on off power switch back here. What's really nice about this is that it has a CNC port on the back of the machine. So if you guys are setting up a plasma table or anything like that, this thing is already geared up and ready for that. It comes already set up to run with 220 volts. Um, that is what's gonna give your uh, largest cut capacity, but don't fret if you don't have that wired up in your shop or garage because they already give you an adapter to step this down from 220 to your 110 outlet. So that's really nice, especially if you guys ain't wired up for that. Uh, so that's pretty much the gist on the machine itself. So we'll go ahead and get some cuts in. Here we go guys, a nice, beautiful, clean cut. This is 8th inch steel. Look how beautiful that cut is on this 7 8 steel. So final thoughts on this thing. I was blown away. I'm really impressed with this machine. To be able to buy it off of Amazon, have it shipped to your door, and start cutting with this thing right away. You may think oh, it's a cheap Chinese knockoff model, but this is actually a really quality machine. And I was really impressed with it to be able to cut almost one inch steel with nice clean cut. So I was really impressed with this thing. I definitely was a little skeptical at first, but uh, after using it just for the little bit that I did, I was extremely impressed. Uh, this machine is boasting 60 amps. 
So you're uh, 10 over anything else that's on Amazon right now. Because um, all the other machines are around 50 amps. So this one's 60, giving you a little bit more capacity to cut. Um, I definitely liked the long lead with uh, the torch. Definitely like that. The only thing I could probably complain about is I wish the ground clamp was as long. That way you could keep it nice and close to your material. But it is a decent length to it, so you shouldn't have many issues with that. Um, and the only other complaint I can probably throw at this thing is not having um, the air inlet for the back. But like I said, if you're going to run off gas, you're going to have a different adapter for it anyway. So, uh, like I said, getting this off Amazon was a little skeptical. But it does come with a three-year warranty. I was in contact with the sales reps for these guys. And very responsive, very knowledgeable. Um, I loved uh, the way... Um, I could get a hold of them and they responded to me, so props to them. You're getting a good quality machine, you're getting good quality customer service, so you really have nothing to worry about with this plasma cutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again guys, and I hope to see you next time.